Hello. So uh, obviously this is something that I've prepared a bit earlier. I've been to a lot of weddings of friends and I've seen everyone get nervous for the um, speeches and I just wanted to uh, say everything without having the whole day um, me worrying about what I'm going to say. So, so here goes. Um, we're here today because uh, obviously me and Tara are getting married. We met a few years ago at the at Ascot at the races. I went with the boys and she went with the girls and we've been together every weekend since to this day. So so I was lucky I went because I didn't want to go and the boys dragged me out. Yeah, just two years later, a lot of fun and you know, um, we got engaged at Kings Park. I, I didn't even have an engagement ring. I, um, I used uh, a bit of wire and, and some nips and I, I made a, a ring out of wire. I had to do it um, quickly because I, I actually found out that my sister Danielle was going to be proposed to by my future brother-in-law Ken. So um, I just had to get in first so I got married first, you know. Um, Danielle, I really am joking and I know that that's what you think but that's not how I was thinking. Yeah, and, and Tara cried when I gave her the, the wire ring so that was a good sign, you know, not materialistic. I've got lots of um, people to thank. Uh, firstly, to Uncle Steve, uh, the MC, all class. I'm sure you're doing a good job. And by this stage, the speeches are almost over, so you can start to have a bit more relaxing uh, night. So, um, thanks a lot for doing that. It uh, means a lot to me and Tara. Um, to the bridesmaids, uh, you look beautiful. Well, I don't really know. I just had to say that anyway. So, yeah, but I'm sure that you do. Uh, thanks for being a friend of Tara and helping her and, and now becoming a friend of mine. So thanks uh, girls. Uh, to the guys, you're the best bunch of mates anybody could ever have. You know, just, you know, I've grown up with you so I don't have to say anything. You all know. Just to Adam, my best man, um, Mr. Reliable. Uh, we were fat together when we were young. We got skinny together and I think now that we're at a nice weight together. You're the man. Thanks, Adam, and I hope we're friends for another 27 years. Uh, and to Anton, uh, especially mentioned to you, all the centerpieces and a few other things, I don't know, I didn't help organize this wedding, were donated from Anton um, at Gone Bazaar, so go visit him and he'll look after you. So thank you very much, Anton. To my, to my family, uh, I'd just like to say that I feel blessed to have his all, aunties, uncles, cousins, everybody. So I've just had it too easy and you've been all too nice to me and too good and so um, thank you all very much. Uh, to the Dropovich side, Bubba and Ditter, you definitely uh, fattened me up as a kid uh, and you definitely showed your love through food. I remember as a kid coming over, playing my video games and, and Bubba would be pumping out the food out of the skiing street, kitchen, like no tomorrow, everything you can imagine. Some food would come and then Ditto would be probably pulling the lamb off the spit. And there was this one time when mum and dad went on holidays, uh, they come back nine days later and they didn't recognise us at the airport. Dad said I doubled in size. So um, so yeah, to Ditto, um, you know, it means a lot to me. You know, you're a concreter, I'm a concreter, so I don't think too many people in this room have the same occupation as father and both grandfathers. That means a lot to me, and I'm glad I, I chose concrete over law. Uh, to my other ditter, the amount of respect that you earn from people is um, unbelievable. 20 something years after you retired, people are still asking how you are, how Steve. I wish in my lifetime I gained half the amount of respect that you did. Um, that would mean a lot to me. So um, thanks, ditter. And um, I'm sure that Bubba Mary is, is looking down and she's very proud. I think that she'd really love this, this video. What I remember of Bubba Mary the most is just having as much family as she can together. <laughs> Photos, videos is very important. So she would have loved being here tonight, um, Dida. But I'm sure she's looking down and she's uh, got a very big smile on her face. To Rob. Um, Tara's father, the people who don't know, I haven't met him yet. Everyone needs a registered builder in their family. Basically, uh, the day that I saw where you worked in your factory, saw the Bobcat, saw the excavator, you know, I really knew that Tara was the one for me. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to use you up. In all seriousness, thank you very much for being fun and welcoming when I come over and you give me a piece of salami. I really appreciate it and a thick bit of cheese. It keeps coming up that girls choose people similar to their fathers. I'd just like to say that my hair 
is so thick and beautiful that I'm really proud of it and Tara really likes it. So um, unfortunately that we're not similar in those ways. Um, and secondly, um, I'm really sorry that I'm not a fisherman. I, I'm sure that you dreamt of a son-in-law that loved going out on your boat fishing. You know, I'll come out there if you're driving five metres out for sure, but if you want fish, go to the shop and buy it. It's filleted. You know, sell your boat and, and I don't have to vomit. So I'm really sorry, Rob. To Pauline, you are the most smiley, energetic person that I have uh, ever met um, for your age. I just threw that one in there for you. You know, you've been very welcoming too. I, I just come in and I can't stop, you just can't stop giggling. Doesn't matter what mood you're in, serious or not. You know, you're just a very happy person. I couldn't ask for anything more. So, and I really appreciate it when, when you give my plate first at dinner. You know, if it upsets others, bad luck. To Alex, uh, just another smiley. Like, I want to see you get upset, Alex. Can you, can you get a frown and just turn around and punch something or just get upset? You know, you're just constantly happy. I mean, I wish I was like that. Um, you know, you're going to make a great brother-in-law to me. Just hurry up and put a ring on my future sister-in-law Meg's finger because uh, we're all waiting and, you know, she'll leave you, mate. Oh, and actually, Tara now has realised since she's married, she can no longer talk in public. So she's given me something to say on behalf of her. I've got that here. I'll read it out. To mum and dad. Words cannot describe how perfect you both are. You have given Alex and I every possible opportunity and I can only hope one day I can raise my kids just like you raised us. You have taught me what a good marriage is and I look up to you both. No one is more hardworking, positive, loving and supportive. Thank you for making me who I am today. Uh, to Tara's nonna, Maria. Um, I've got to know you over the years and I hope uh, that you approve of me. I know you're very strict in your views. Just thanks for being very nice to me and always giving me something when I come over, a t-shirt, a rag, whatever it is. So thanks. Um, I'll look after your granddaughter as best I can. To the purses, um, I've got to know you over the years too. Uh, obviously a little bit, little bit less as you live in Mora. I've got to really like you guys and I come to, come to Mora for the first time for Father's Day and I really enjoyed that. I wish I could have been there for longer. And I'll, I promise that I'll listen to Pop's tips and actually put some money down when he gives me a tip. Uh, to, my, to my sisters, I just want you to know that I'm the favourite. Um, we all know that. It's been very fun growing up uh, together. Probably annoying for you, but fun for me. There's only one time that I'll say it. Love you. See, I've said it to my sisters, I'll never say it again. When you just leave, I used to chew on your Barbie and your Ken dolls. And I actually got a couple from, from home. Uh, that's the Barbie. She's got beautiful flowing blonde hair like Tara. This is a Ken doll. There's two marks on his leg. But I would have had a nibble on her at some stage. And Come on Barbie, let's go party. It's just a sickness, I think. It's funny how things happen, actually. Danielle is now marrying a Ken doll. And, uh, and he's one of my groomsmen up on stage. So I promise Ken I'll, I won't chew on your leg. Um, ever. I don't want to. I'm not gay. You put your hand up to come dig footings with me on a Sunday and when I give you the shovel at 6.30 in the morning you don't you don't breathe until 2 o'clock. So take a breath Ken. I know you, you're a hard worker now so you're gonna look after my sister and um, so if you could all raise a glass to Danielle and Ken um, raise it really high. Uh, they're getting married in April and we all look forward to that and sorry for beating you guys. Uh, to, to mum and dad, um, mum, and, mum and dads are, are the two most important people in most people's lives and especially mine. Firstly to mum, uh, you're the best mum that anyone could ever have. Uh, you did everything for me, I'd come home and wherever my clothes fell off, that's where I'd find them. Uh, washed and ironed and put in the right order, you know how you used to do it mum, you have the shirt, pants and the shoes. And you know, it's no good having two shirts and then the pants because it's confusing. Actually, before I moved out, you, you started ironing a little bit later and leaving it in the basket a bit longer. But I used to like when you had it stacked nicely. Seriously, Mum, you're the best. Um, I, hope, uh, uh, I hope I'm making you proud. I love you, Mum. I'm leaving home, but I promise that I'll be around and I hope to make you a grandmother. And to Dad, well, you taught me the most important thing 
how to work. And you know that's the most important thing for me. It's just about getting up in the morning, having a routine, and teaching me how hard you have to go, can go, and, and just the reward you get for doing something, just doing something. And I, and I feel that, that that routine that you get helps you out when you get home. So I really appreciate that, Dad. Uh, you introduced me to the gym uh, when I was 19. I never took it as, uh, as far as you did. So I reckon I had a pretty good body when I was 19 or 20. I reckon I was flying. You've given me absolutely every opportunity. I can do whatever I like. So that's all I can ask for from parents and anyone can ask for. You two are the best. Now, to Tara, the new most important person in my life. Well, to be honest, when we met, I really loved spending time with you and that, but we both used to say we're so different. You know, I never brushed my teeth and I thought bleeding gums were normal. You told me that's gingivitis. You love politics. I've never ever voted in my entire life. We've got a lot of very different interests, but the common thing that keeping us together is the fact that we both just love being around our families and just being together. Nothing fancy and love um, squabbling. Yeah, I couldn't describe you any other way but just say you're beautiful, you're smart, and you're very happy and positive. I'm very, very lucky man to have found you. I never thought that I would ever find someone like you. I know that I puff my chest out and say I'm better than you, but deep down I know that um, I really appreciate who you are. You're just such a talented person. You've got so many strings to your bow. It's not funny, all these things going on. And, you know, I may work hard, but I'm very one-dimensional. So this is the only one time I'll admit that. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together and do absolutely everything. I mean, everything together. That's how I want to play it. That's how our parents have played it. And I think that's a winning formula. Thank you, Tara. For everything. Uh, thanks everyone for listening and sorry I, if I've bored anyone, I couldn't do it any shorter. So have a good night and don't leave till 12.01 because that's when the drink package ends. See ya.